Hello, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It all depends on where you are hearing us from. Yes, finally, our Prime Minister has reacted to the request of Shetima, the Vice President of Nigeria, representing Nigerian government, saying that uh, we should use another approach because they militarized the Southeast, killing them over time. But suddenly, something changed. Um, the hunter was haunted so they started crying out they now said okay let's change approach simon Epa said okay now good that's a good one that uh, if we are changing approach this is the demand we are making for us to change approach yes he said breaking reacting to tunubu's position Epa demanded that the release of leader of indigenous people of biafra mazinam de kano that is one Acknowledging the map presented by Brig, that is Biafra Republic government in exile, by declaring a referendum for the region. That's two. Three demand, the number third demand is demilitarization of that zone. And including the removal of all checkpoints are sine qua non to restoring peace in the southeast. He added that the Nigerian government should acknowledge the 40 states of Brig called from the southeast by granting liberation to the region all right that is what uh, simon Epa demanded before we will cease fire because this fire they gave it to us they actually gave us that fire and we picked that fire so now that they say we should cease fire we are giving them our own demand so that things will work if you truly want peace in the southeast these are the things you will do because we have crossed the rubicon you know we cannot go back to egypt what actually happened is this nigeria news spain that's the the news news um news line that actually carried the news they say brig backs Federal government call for non-kinetic solution to South East crisis issues fresh demand. What I read now was the are the demands that uh, our Prime Minister gave to Federal Government of Nigeria. I wish and I pray that they will, you know, give us our demand. Releasing Namde Kano because he is not supposed to be there by now competent jurisdiction of the same government has set them the Kano free over one year ago but because of the marginalization the hatred the animosity the suppression they are still keeping him in dss custody whereas all the criminals from the north have been released all the muslim criminals have been released they have been freed to go but you see that innocent human being, because he is from Southeast region, he is there in DSS custody as I speak, with hard labor, with torture, with hunger, with one cloth, up till now. We have been making this demand for a very long time. They don't want to, you know, grant this demand. Now, as we speak right now, the Prime Minister has uh, mapped out, curated map of Biafra, United States of Biafra, USB, all right? 40 states. Nigeria, as we speak, they have 36 states, including uh, FCT, that's 37. But Biafra has 40 states, 40 states. So now they are demanding for a referendum. You have to grant them referendum. In order to everybody is happy because it has got to this at least something is happening if they are we are the one killing us suppressing us the way they used to do you will not hear them call for ceasefire no when you demand for ceasefire they'll be laughing at you but because we are having upper hand we are giving them back to back what they taught us we learned it and we picked it and we surpassed them we are giving them water water east west north and south <laughs> and it's not going down well with them so they are calling for ceasefire they said oh non-kinetic approach is better oh let us come to negotiation table who are we actually talking to are they talking to boko haram 
or are they talking to freedom fighters because there are so many agitation in nigeria the boko haram they are agitating that the whole nigeria should be converted to islam is it not that there shouldn't be anything like uh, western education that's what they are agitating for Beer friends are the indigenous people they are agitating that their 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 region should be freed give them fair playing ground give them their own states own nation that is what they are demanding for biafra if you call it Igbo nation that is your own but we are coming with the map complete map you can imagine 40 states out of the five states that nigeria was able to give to that region five states but now they have been able to carve out 40 states 40 states to make sure that governance gets to the grassroots to make sure that everybody enjoys governance so they are now demanding for referendum in case you don't know if you still insist that you will not grant them referendum, they know how to take it. <laughs> the approach we are using is very radical. So you can't stop us. It's just like a moving train. You can't stop a moving train. If you put head, moving train will crush. That's exactly the approach we are using to get Biafra. Please, let them, the Kano stay out of this. Don't call his name. Release him. You have tortured him enough. Let him go. Let him go. He's just a freedom fighter. You know? And uh, our Prime Minister own up to the responsibilities that, yes, he is responsible to that dance that just changed. That Python must die. Python must die in Biafra land. Simon Epa is the one initiating it. He owned up to that. He said he's the one. The military he curated, Biafra Liberation Army and Biafra Liberation uh, Resistance Fighters, are the ones giving you water water when they give you water water <laughs> you cannot imagine that uh that is why shetima is calling for ceasefire tunubu is not talking all right he's not talking because it's not money <laughs> what he is interested in is uh, paper money paper money 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 oil in as much as he's keeping quiet his silence is not golden because whatever we agree as a region and we move to do it that is carried we have already delegitimized his governors all those nigerian governors in the southeast their work is now illegal we told them if you don't want to cease fire let their militaries run from for, from biafra land let them go that is the militarization there should not be you know sight of military in the region because we are not fighting war but if they say they will be there then they will make sure we'll make sure that we'll send them to judgment our own is to send terrorists to judgment whatever god decides is what he will give to the terrorists so that is their position right now in southeast it is not our fault these people taught us what we are doing and we must continue no ceasefire unless they grant us our request that's the news we have for you my dear people thank you very much for your time on this channel god bless you all